And the misuse of prescription pills is an increasing concern in our society, but the entire pharmaceutical industry is evolving to help prevent addiction and overdose. Joining me today is Dr. Matt McCarty from Genitox Labs here in Austin, which is one of the few labs in the country on the cutting edge of a science called pharmacogenomics. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Yes. Um, so we're going to help explain what that means, and thank you, doctor, for, for being here today. Let's trying to explain in layman's terms as best as possible what it means uh, pharmacogenomics. Okay, pharmacogenomics is a study of the gene, uh, the gene someone has and any mutations they might have and that might affect the way they metabolize drugs. What are the dangers with the current <coughs> way that we prescribe prescription medicine? Yeah, that's a good question. As our society ages, we're seeing more and more patients on multiple medications and uh, recently there's been a report out that overdoses in this country are largely due not to somebody taking three times the amount of pain pills, mm -hmm. but that they are taking multiple medications, sleeping aids, antidepressants, tranquilizers, alcohol, they might mix alcohol with mm -hmm. pain medication and combined it can have a uh, additive effect. And then when you add that to enzymes that don't work well, it can be disastrous. And, 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 and bodies are different. You and I probably right. metabolize different drugs differently. Right. Um, what will a new DNA test do for personalized prescriptions? Sure, well, it, it, this field is evolving and it's a subset of personalized medicine. And what Genotox Labs is trying to do is give, give physicians a tool to help manage their patients who are having adverse drug events mm -hmm. like dizziness, headache, dizziness or nausea, vomiting, um, any kind of uh, over sedation. Mm -hmm. Those are all effects that could point to an adverse drug event or a drug not being metabolized like it should. Now, um, you know, someone goes to the doctor, they get a blood test. Is this something that can be determined from a a blood test or do they have to mm -hmm. request it or is it should it be part of the standard procedure well it's not yet part of standard procedure because we don't have any studies uh, really giving us promise that yes you should test everybody but the testing is simple uh, it's done through buccal swab testing which you just take a small cotton swab on the inside of your cheek you rub it about 10 times on each side in mm -hmm. four four areas and the genetic results get back in about seven days. The doctor then gets the report mm -hmm. and uh, understands that what medications the patient's taking. And the report is helpful in that it gives recommendations of which medications might be uh, preferential given the patient's enzymes or their mutations. And this is particularly um, interesting for people maybe with heart problems, maybe with, that need pain relief, those type of medications. That's right. And uh, the big pharmacogenomics has been practiced in psychiatry for some time, for about mm -hmm. the last five years. But we're doing it now with pain medications, mm -hmm. uh, cardiac medications, Plavix, and a little known fact that 30% of people have mutations in the gene that produces the enzyme that makes Plavix work. So it's very important that patients who go on Plavix know whether or not their enzymes are at full functioning capacity uh, so that the drug is having its effect. The FDA f thought it important enough to put a warning on the bottle, for instance, for Plavix. Mm -hmm. Antidepressants are another big category of drugs that people have a lot of side effects to. And it's uh, in depression in general is uh, very resistant the more drugs you try and the longer you try. So it's real important to know what medications to try early on. It's a very interesting science, and again, the, the, the future of the industry is evolving, and yeah. we've already seen the dangers of what uh, addiction and, and misuse of prescription yeah. pills can do. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me.